It has been a good Maryland day here in Charlotte. The Terps take the Duke's Mayo Bowl 16 to 12 over the NC State Wolfpack. It's an eight win season. Jeez, that, that's great for the Maryland Terrapins. I'm Wayne Viner, Mason and Bruce away from the field today. Look, it was tough, it was gritty. Certainly didn't have the offensive output that you wanted. Leah didn't start because he broke curfew. Billy Edwards actually got the start on the first drive. Uh, Maryland went for it and lost it on downs there. But man, what a happy, happy day it is for this football team. They talked about it as they went to the stage and got the trophy, that it was an up and down season. This was an up and down game. They kept fighting. There were a couple minutes there where you needed the defense to make a play. And finally, Jacorian Bennett makes that play. He ends up being the MVP of the bowl. Defense was spectacular today. The NC State quarterback certainly helped out a bit inaccurate. Both offenses struggled. Roman Henby had a, it took a beating to get 67 yards. Leah didn't complete that many passes. He had the one big catch. You see it right here. Octavian Smith highlight here. The receivers did well, and it's certainly a different receiver group. But man, that was a tough, tough NC State defense. They pounded Merrill. It was a heck of a contest up close. Not sure what it looked like on television. This is the Big Dog Postgame Show. We'll be back with a little bit more here from Charlotte ahead of the Postgame Press Conference. It was a great win. What do you think about beating NC State? I Live agree. on the field as Maryland wins, it's DJ Moore, the greatest Terps of all time. <laughs> Jeff, fun watching this down in Carolina. It was, it was a good time. Uh, great to see Maryland win, and uh, I'm glad they got the win. You are. Who'd you bring with you today? I brought my daughter, Ari. Say hi, man. With Viner Forgates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Forgates, for making your company work is our primary mission. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us, the big dogs from the small firm, at 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. So I want to thank all of our sponsors this year. As always, this is the last football game and the last event we're going to cover this year. It's appropriate to start wrapping this up with Damon Evans. What's it mean to have eight wins? Uh, it's special. It means a lot for these seniors. I was just talking to someone when Locks first got here. Where we were to where we are now is so significant. But the hard work and dedication is just paying off. And they showed it today by grinding this win out. And we're continuing to make progress. Uh, the, the progress is quite evident. Uh, you talk about some of the seniors, and I guess you got a feel for the guys. They get two bowl wins out of this, out of staying with this. But it's got to mean something to you to have a program that's on the rise. It does. Uh, first, I want to thank the seniors. Um, they stuck with us. They, they fought hard. And think about Ja'Cory and Bennett. He could have opted out and, and said, I'm going to the NFL. But he decided to stick around and play, made a wonderful interception. But that just shows that commitment by this senior group, and I'm so very proud of them because uh, they've gotten us to where we are today. All right. Well, thanks. I know we'll see you inside for the press conference. It's a, it's a great day to be a Terp. It is a wonderful day to be a Terp. Congratulations to Locks, and thanks, Terp Nation. Well, that was nice for Damon to join us.
but I got to take a couple seconds here. It wasn't the greatest football game in the world. There were some ugly moments in there. I uh, actually expected Maryland to punch it in a couple times. They end up with field goals, but man, Chad Ryland, uh, in the end, he ends up being a difference for this team. It was evident today. He probably he could have been the best player on the field. If Jacorian Bennett doesn't intercept that pass, it ends a different way. Chad Ryland's probably the MVP. Winning eight games, I mean, most of you who are watching were with us when all those bad things happened. And people talked uh, about that's the end of football at Maryland and you'll never win anything here. And the, the line that I like and I've repeated a bit is if Loxley can find a way to go eight and four a few years, he gets a statue in front of the stadium. He won eight and five, it's close. He talked about taking the next step. Look, the reality of it is you won two bowl games in a row for a program that was really down in the dumps. And whether you love this season or you thought, hey, we could have beaten Purdue and gotten one more, however you get to this, my goodness, eight wins in the end, looking back, feels pretty good. Could they have done a little more? Yeah, maybe. But for me, you could see progress. It looked like a Big Ten team out there. It was a really physical game. Terps stood up and managed to take it in the end. I want to thank everybody for watching. Of course, last event of the year. Mason, you've been great. Bruce, for, for starting Terp Talk and giving us the opportunity to do this. And we're going to go inside and get some, some Loxley up-close reaction and talk with the players. It's been a great afternoon in Charlotte, 16-12. Maryland is the Duke's Mayo Bowl champion.